This day, the 29th, marks another somber anniversary. And it's one that we all need to remember and we all need to talk about. This is the fourth anniversary of the Quebec City mosque shooting that took the lives of six men and injured five others. And it was, it was horrific. Absolutely horrific. Today, the federal government announced a National Day of Remembrance for the shooting, which is important. But I think that everyone would agree that actions have to follow the remembrance services and national days of mourning. They have to be backed up by action to fight back against Islamophobia and other racism, because otherwise these behaviors and the violence will continue. And joining me on the line now to have a conversation about this anniversary, but also where we go from here, is Fareed Khan, founder of Canadians United Against Hate. Fareed, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Uh, thank you for having me back, Jess. Always a pleasure to speak with you. And uh, I know that today is, you know, obviously one that hangs heavy on the hearts of many people right across this country. But I, I just remember the shock and the absolute horror after finding out what took place at that mosque at the Islamic Center in Quebec City uh, after evening prayers that night four years ago. And it just it sickened me to know what had taken place and, and the pain and suffering visited upon not only the people who were there that night, but the Muslim community across Canada. Canada and and everyone of who is of, of good heart should be pained by what happened that day. Um, very much so. Um, the I, I remember uh, you know being at home watching you know, the TV was on in the background with the news uh, when the first report started coming uh, in, and I was horrified, but sad to say. At some level, I was not surprised that this sort of thing hadn't happened sooner. Um, you know, six men uh, shot dead uh, by a white supremacist shooter, 19 injured, and one person paralyzed for life. Uh, six women suddenly without husbands, 17 children without fathers. These are the hard numbers. But the thing is that it was something that... Um, tore open the fabric of Canadian society and shows what can happen if people don't take hate seriously in this country. And the the end result is that. And uh, the Muslim communities, as you said, is marking the fourth anniversary, as are uh, a lot of other Canadians. And today the federal government announced after four years of campaigning that they would designate January 29th as a Remembrance Day for the victims, but also as a day for action against Islamophobia, which is long overdue. But as you said in your comment, um, that's great, but actions need to follow. We've been saying this for years now. Um, words, uh, words are meaningless without actions. It's very true. And uh, I, to your point, Farid, about how this event, you know, ripped open wide the fact that these events do take place here in Canada, that people who, uh, you know, believe that these actions are a good idea do call Canada home. And we can't turn a blind eye to this. And that's a conversation you, have I, you and I have had before, where, you know, racist ideologies, they are not just elsewhere. They are right here at home in Canada. Yes, exactly. And um, we we seem to look at the United States and we think, oh, wow, look at how awful it is there. I'm so glad I live in Canada. And yet the reality is the same sort of hate that we've seen raise its ugly head in the U.S. exists here in Canada. We had, in the aftermath of the shooting, you'd think with, with, the, with the, the tragedy that was occurring, we had a huge spike in social media commentary that was Islamophobic. Um, between 2012 and 2017, Islamophobia, uh, acts of Islamophobia had increased by almost 250 percent. Um, and then in the aftermath of the shootings, Islamophobia jumped again. And one of the perversities that happened in the aftermath of the shooting is that in the parliament there was a motion being debated at the time, M103, it was an Islamophobia motion, and it was calling on the government to take action against Islamophobia and other forms of, of uh, anti-religious hate. Now, the motion had no... Um, 
no legal weight. It was a non-binding motion. And yet, despite that, uh, members of the conservative opposition stood up to oppose it, spoke against it, and by their commentary, inflamed Islamophobia even further. There is so much that needs to happen in terms of uh, action, first of all, uh, because that that is the biggest thing here. But uh, just education. And it's sometimes disheartening that we are still at that point where people don't understand that their words sometimes are just adding fuel to the flame, as you said, inflaming the situation instead of uh, calming things and moving forward to heal and making progress. Uh, It does become disheartening that there's still such a long way to go. Well, it does, but the thing is we can't we can't stop because if we stop, then we allow the forces of hate to basically uh, win and control our lives. Um, I think what the Prime Minister announced today was a very positive step, albeit I think you know a few years later than we had uh, wanted um, but his uh, his announcement of this uh, day now needs to be followed up with action and we we actually um, issued an open letter to the prime minister not commending him for uh, designating this day because you know we're going to give credit where credit is due but also calling on him once again as we've called on him before to implement an aggressive nan- national anti-hate strategy and have the government lead that effort and work with provincial government to put in place programs programs for education, uh, awareness, and also to give the tools necessary to fight hate and radicalization um, of people who, you know, fall into the, into the pit of white supremacy. Well, I, I very much hope that we will see m- m- action taken on that call from, from your organization. And uh, hopefully the next chat we have is reaction to that being launched. Maybe, maybe that will be it. Now, I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. But Fareed, thank you for coming on to speak with me today uh, about this anniversary and for continuing to shine a light on this issue. Uh, I really very much value all the conversations that we have. Thank you so much. Well, thank you again for uh, continuing these conversations. And uh, yes, I hope uh, we do get good news uh, down the road to the calls that we've been making to the federal government. Absolutely. And we'll keep chatting until that time. You take good care and stay safe, okay? Yeah, thank you very much. You you also. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. That's Fareed Khan, founder of Canadians United Against Hate, speaking with me about the fourth anniversary of the Quebec mosque shooting. How the federal government announced today that this will mark a national day of mourning and remembrance for that tragedy, but also highlighting the need to keep moving forward in fighting back against hatred and Islamophobia. Excuse me. We can't just be all talk. There actually has to be action if we're going to put an end to that behavior.